Hello YouTube, my name is Joe and welcome back to another video. Lately, um, as of the latest NVIDIA driver release, I've been plagued with lag and stuttering problems on my GTA 5 game. Now this isn't anything that I'm not used to. I've had this happen before. Another driver caused me the same problem and uh, I was able to fix it by um, going into my NVIDIA control panel and tweaking around a couple settings. And this update is actually no different. Basically, I was um, getting all of this stuttering both in my video and in my audio. I couldn't play the game on max settings even though my PC is more than capable of running it. Just a lot of general issues that I've been having with the game recently that I thought came from my modding errors. It turns out it was just the driver. So let me dive in and show you guys how to fix that if you're having the same issue as I am. Right, so to fix the problem, essentially you're going to want to go to your desktop, right click anywhere, and click on your NVIDIA control panel. Once it loads up, you'll be presented with this drop down menu here, as well as the option to add a program. You're going to want to make sure you're in the Programs Settings tab as well. If your GTA 5 doesn't show up under this drop down menu, you can just click Add and um, just find it from there. Now, a bunch of the video tutorials that I've seen and a lot of the stuff that I've looked at for older drivers had these solutions to uh, switch these settings. And these are the settings that I'm showing you on screen right now. So your maximum pre-rendered frames to one, multi-display mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance mode, power management mode to prefer maximum performance, and your shader cache force on. Um, and then you have triple buffering on. And uh, the only other thing that I noticed, and uh, I feel like I was probably the first person to notice this as of this uh, new driver update of March 28th, I believe it came out. There is a new option, virtual reality pre-rendered frames. And the problem, as far as I can tell, stems from the fact that this driver is optimized for uh, virtual reality headsets and stuff like the Oculus Rift and Steam VR and whatever it is, I don't know. But um, essentially, that's what this uh, driver adds to the NVIDIA control panel. And you're going to want to make sure that you have it set to use the 3D application setting. By default, it's going to be set to 1. If you're like me, you don't have a virtual reality headset setup, eye socket device thing, so you're just going to want to use the 3D application setting. Once you're done with this, your game should work perfectly fine, but I'm going to show you something else that I did to um, stop my stuttering, something that I actually just did before um, just before it stopped, so it could have been a contributing factor as well. I don't know, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. Under your start menu here, you're just going to type in msconfig, hit enter, and you're going to be presented with this screen. Just go to the services tab, and uh, you're going to go down, scroll down, until you see Windows event log. By default, it's going to be checked. You're just going to uncheck it. Keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down until you find Windows Event Collector. Um, that's going to be checked by default. You're just going to want to uncheck that as well. Well, folks, there you have it. As you can see, I'm running buttery smooth right now. It might be 30 FPS on YouTube because I'm not really one of those newfangled YouTube folk who know how to upload in 60 FPS and render their videos in 60 FPS and all that crap because I've been out of the game for quite a while. But nonetheless, I promise you, it's a buttery 60 FPS on my end. And uh, I really hope this worked for you guys too because I have been wrangling with this problem for probably like three days now. Basically ever since the driver came out, I've been having issues and I've basically been fixing problem after problem that I've been encountering on my GTA 5 either due to my modding errors or due to the new driver or due to something completely different. What I'm trying to say is Rockstar did an absolutely shitty job of optimizing their game. However, some of it is my fault and I can't blame the developers too terribly much because when you do mod a game and it's not really made to be modded, you're gonna have problems like that sometimes. That being said, on the next uh, Grand Theft Auto, Rockstar, please include modding support. It makes everybody's life easier. Anyway guys, I really hope this helped. Um, I'm gonna go and enjoy my newly fixed GTA and anxiously await the day where I have to mess with it again due to another stupid problem. Thanks, Rockstar. What is this shit?